Town Manager's Report. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, for those who are listening, the selectmen will not be meeting on October 13th due to the holiday, but will be conducting a regular business meeting on October 9th in place thereof. That's this Thursday. The town has received no response from the uh, owners of property at the corner of uh, Winnicott Road and Lafayette Road. Uh, we are doing some further research on that. It's our understanding that uh, a local attorney is representing them and he is going to be meeting with us. So hopefully we'll get some, something done. Uh, the town has, re has received its distribution of the portion of the 17.1 million due to the health trust, or due from the health trust. And I've instructed the finance department to begin the refund calculation based upon prior distribution policy that was agreed to uh, for the return of those funds. We have received notice from the retirement system that they will begin issuing fines for incorrect submissions. <clears throat> those fines which will be assessed against the town whether or not those errors are the result of the town's action or a state mistake. So I'll just expound on that for a minute because the finance department expounded on it for me for a minute. Um, we make reports to the state and sometimes those reports get into the system, sometimes they don't. Once we've made the report, we tender our information to them for the following financial report based upon the information we've submitted. If they haven't put it in, and that's re that's incorrect because they haven't put it in, we're going to get fined $25 a day until it's fixed for every single thing that's wrong. Whether it's their fault or ours doesn't make any difference. That's their new policy. It starts immediately. Just so you know where the, uh, the increased revenue is going for the state or coming from, from the state is coming from us. Uh, the town auction will be held on October 18th, starting at 9 a.m. with a public workshop. Mr. Chairman, in addition to that report, um, I asked the Finance Department to uh, do an analysis for me of Channel 22 revenues and expenses. And based upon that analysis, we estimate that the balance of the uh, Channel 22 account at the end of the year will be $104,562. And based upon that, I would uh, recommend that the Board consider uh, granting the funds to the school that were requested. Thank you, sir. It didn't catch the list. Go ahead and repeat that for select Yeah, uh, The estimated final balance at the end of yeah. the year after expenses would be 104562 Yeah. Based upon that, and that's that's about in the center of where we've been since 2009. Okay. Uh, I would recommend the board consider giving the school the funds that they requested. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I'll make that motion. Yeah, I'll say can, that. Let, can we do questions and come back to the motion? Okay, okay so hold that hot. Selectman okay. Woolsey. Questions Lights for the town manager. The field. Well, if the tree's been taken down and, and the light stanchion's going up, it's October, whatever the heck it is. Sixth. Are trees holding up the installation of the lights over there? No, the vendor is holding up the installation of the lights over there. Well, that. then shame on him or them. <clears throat> they, uh, they have requested that the tree people meet with them. Okay. I understand that's going to be done this week. Okay. Uh, they will determine which portions of the trees need to come down, the whole tree doesn't need to come down. Okay. Uh, once that's determined, they'll do the work and put up the stanchions. Do we not talk to tree people before this? I believe we did. The problem was that they couldn't tell us, what, the, the people with the light stanchions couldn't tell us what needed to come down. Oh, good grief. Well, maybe five or ten years down the road we'll have lights. Oh, I suspect we're going to have them shortly, have but... Faster? Okay. Well, it just is a little thorn sticking in the side. The distribution of the $17.1 which sounds like a lot, but we're getting a little bit of it. This is the final wrap-up, I think, and please correct me if I'm wrong, of the 2010, 11, 12 settlement. We've still got the years from 2003 on hanging out there. Are any of the towns talking about pursuing any action against the local government center and the health trust because the back money there was not, um, there was no way of policing it at that point in time because the legislature let that slide. And they had town funds that were not returned 
via surplus the way they should have been. Are you hearing anything from any other communities? Is anyone else trying to do? No, no. one has approached us at all with any information. That's a shame. That is a sorry shame, the way that mess has taken place. That's, that's disgusting. And the town auction, um, the list you gave us, Fred, is that a complete list, or are there any additions being made to it, or? I don't know that there are any additions made to it, and they have been presented to me. Okay. We tried to freeze the list so that we would okay. have a definite piece of uh, equipment there, or a list we could, we could use or work with. And are the, are the requirements for town auctions different from, say, someone acting as a professional auctioneer? It has to be an employee, and, and we've hired um, Mr. Lally, who yeah. has uh, graciously donated his time. He's going to return his fees. Okay. Uh, but he has to, be an, has to be an employee, or we have to hire a professional auctioneer. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sir. No, thank you for your report. Thank you, sir. The only question I have is uh, the town of Hampton Falls is working on Toll Farm Road, the Taylor River Bridge. Yes. <coughs> uh, if you go over that bridge, you'll notice that both sides of it is a real dip at the joints. There are. I don't know if uh, we are going to do anything with our side of the joint right now. Why don't you figure out what they're doing? Okay. Well, uh, it would be nice if whatever we did, we did it together and got it done right. Well, they're planning on doing theirs shortly. Okay. So we might want to have I'll talk to works. Keith in the morning and ask them to go down and take a look and see what's going on and, and find out what their final solution is. Okay. But I was talking to the road and the road engineer over there or the road, road agent. agent. Yeah. And he, he let me know that they were doing their side and it would be nice if Hampton could do that their side and it would be good because we each own our side of the bridge. So Do they have a well, problem yeah. picking up the phone? I don't know. I believe it's a contractor. Oh. So that's it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'd, I'd left for a minute. I'm sorry. Um, when you said we received no response from the 349 uh, equity on that property, mm -hmm. yes. Are we planning on doing anything? We haven't received a response from them. We have received a response from someone who has told us that they're their representative in council. <clears throat> and uh, it appears that the property is owned by two individuals who don't see eye to eye on the maintenance of it. I don't want to spend the money. Um, and my information is that the local person that's involved uh, as council is uh, going to try to see that they get that done so it's taken care of. Okay. So somebody is working on it. Whether or not we can persuade them to part with a few dollars is another issue. Okay. And, and one other question. Are other towns in an uproar over reporting the retirement system if they make a mistake we pay a fine <laughs> I haven't heard from other towns we just got this the other day uh, and, I and uh, but i but i'm sure there are going to be a few folks that are going to be excited particularly if it's not their mistake I yeah i hope yeah. so yeah i mean so i mean uh, are we planning on or we just wait until we get we're a fine until we get zapped and then we're going to zap back all right if it's our fault it's our fault if it's not it's going to have to be theirs yeah that's crazy well that's the state but, uh, and I don't know if this is the appropriate time to bring this up. We keep getting emails about the safety at the Seawell, the way the state's yeah. working. Yeah. Can we, in, a, in the town lot, can we put a sign in the town lot, our own sign in the town lot, saying that this free? I mean, I know it's overkill, but. As long as it's on town property, yes. And is that town parking lot where, we, where you can park with a permit, is that town? It's a town parking lot. Could we put our sign in there just saying, you know? We can. We just can't put it on the sidewalk or on town or state property. Okay. But yeah. well, we can mount it on a sawhouse, couldn't we, then, there? We could mount it on virtually anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. It's probably not a bad idea. Just to, you know. Yeah. Yes, exactly. All right. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Well.